Welcome to Europe ECR 2024. I am Marta Siches, uh, a cardiologist working in Barcelona, and I have the pleasure to be here with two interventional cardiologists, Philippe Blors from Mainz in Germany and Rodrigo Estevez from Vigo, Spain. So we are going to have a nice conversation for a few minutes uh, regarding uh, novel uh, devices that we have available for the treatment of patients with tricuspid regurgitation. And these novel devices are based on the uh, teratopic uh, uh, prosthesis implantation concept. So, Philip, let us know a little bit more on this concept in this approach to treat TR. Yeah, maybe initially it might not be totally intuitive what heterotopic means and why we need it. But if we dissect the, the problems of TR into two different categories, one is forward failure, because patients lose the regurgitant volume going into the wrong direction. But then the other problem, and maybe something we underestimated in the past, is the detrimental consequences of backward failure. Means that Due to the cooptation gap, the RV pressures are transmitted from the right ventricle to the right atrium and then across the entire venous system. And we know now that these high venous pressures cause impairment in renal function, it causes impairment in liver function, it causes chronic intestinal congestion with potential consequence of malabsorption. So this is really the full spectrum of right heart failure and backward failure. And that's something we try to treat by heterotopic therapies. Very informative. So, Rodrigo, we have some previous experience with other devices for uh, heterotopic devices, but what, what are the main characteristics of these novel devices that we have now, or this no, novel concept, let's say? Yes, yeah, so, I mean, uh, we have to say that even though many devices have been developed to treat TR at the valve level, there's still some characteristics of some patients that, uh, that make us that we cannot treat the TR at that level, probably due to leads or anatomical constraints. So we have this new approach that is treating the consequences, as Philip mentioned before, by a teratopic valve implantation. So how does it work? So far, this treatment has been done with a bicable approach, which means implantation of valve in the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava to treat the consequences of the regurgitation. However, this can have some technical complexities, and this can be overcome by this new concept that is the cross cable treatment. So this is the development of a cross cable stent from SVC to IVC to prevent this backflow. And this concept can be delivered by two devices. One is called Trillium, which is a complete cover uh, by a fabric from SVC to IVC, leaving only three windows at the level of the right ventricular uh, inflow to, to allow the right ventricular filling and also with a, a skirt at the bottom of the right atrium to prevent the, the backflow, which is completely isolate the venous system from the regurgitant volume. And this concept can be delivered well for a new device called Unica, which is also a cross cabal concept, but in this case, it's a bare stem hosting two valves, one in SVC, one in IVC, plus the skirt at the bottom of the right atrium to prevent backflow. The advantage of these devices are that they deliver very fastly through just a fluoroscopic guidance. You don't need advanced imaging, you don't need general anesthesia. And the advantage of the Unica is that you can reaccess the right atrium at any time. So, Philip, so far, what's the initial or early experience with this novel concept? Yes, so in addition to a couple of um, compassionate use cases, we now have data from 20 patients out of the early feasibility, feasibility trial. In, in Europe and well the first thing which stands out is that the procedure is extremely easy to perform. We are now used to, to perform all these complex tricuspid procedures where we need very much advanced imaging. Here it's different. Fluoroscopy is enough and we look at a mean device time of about 10 minutes. So it's, it's very straightforward and it's, it's, it is extremely safe. The device does what it should do meaning that it should seal off the venous system from high right ventricular and especially right atrial pressures. And that's supported by the fact that we see a clear and significant drop in V-wave 
and in mean um, central venous pressures. So the V-wave comes down from around 30 millimeters of mercury down to 20. And that causes improvement in symptoms. We see significant improvement in NYHA class. We see less peripheral edema. We see less ascites. In terms of the consequences for liver and renal function, we still need more patients and, and, and more numbers. But there is no doubt that when we achieve uh, decongestion and lower central venous pressures that larger studies have always shown that this is associated with better liver and renal function. So I'm quite confident that we will see that um, as soon as we have um, more patients to analyze. Very promising results. So we have learned that uh, indeed uh, heterotopic implantation is another alternative for a subgroup of patients with tricuspid regurgitation. We have novel developments that seem to overcome uh, technical limitations and improve the results. And particularly, I've learned with you that the ease of procedure and the safety of the procedure is of utmost importance. So with the current technology, we are really looking forward for the results of the current uh, ongoing studies and we, have, we hope to have more information on this uh, next year. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be with you and to share this conversation. Thank you very much.